Create, relate, erase the hate Our memories, these things we make Each stitch we take, we take our time We take each word, we make them rhyme We all, we are, these flaws we crawl To mend this all, to walk the dog We too, we zoom, the room, the loom The birds, the boughs, the stars, the moon Floss to welcome to Stitchin' It. My name is Stephanie and today is an update video and it's going to be very exciting because it is my Floss Tube anniversary. So I have a lot of things planned including some giveaways so make sure you guys are subscribed and um, let's get started. So I'm going to have some finishes um, and I'll show you a couple of whips I've been working on and what has been inspiring me uh, during this season and also um, some plans for what's going on until Mania. The first uh, stitched item I have to show you guys um, I have have finished for uh, a few days now and I've been using it ever since. It is a tote bag that uh, is made by Charles Craft which I found at my Joanne. I'd never seen it before until recently and I was able to get it with the with the coupon so um, it was pretty inexpensive and um, I saw some other ladies stitching on tote bags like from Target or something like that like Arlene Cohen and a few other women so um, that kind of inspired me especially uh, with the spring you know I wanted something um, to carry around my supplies in. So let me show you what I've got. This pattern I found free on the DMC website and it is called Mountain Peony and what's neat about it is it's sized perfectly to fit on to the the Ada insert on, on the bag and so are a bunch of other patterns on the website. So if you get a tote bag like this to stitch on um, their website is um, a good resource for for free patterns in general really but um, this one also includes it uses four of the new um, colors 1 through 40, 35 you know so I that was the first time I actually stitched with them and it was pretty easy it stitched up pretty fast it took me four or five days but um, the easiest thing you know it with is is it makes it the hardest thing about it is trying to reach into the tote bag to stitch um, but the best thing to use I found is a, like an 8 inch Q-snap it's really important to center your design on the Ada panel so that was a great project for spring I like I said I love it and I can take it where, where, where with me wherever I am. So, so that was a fun project. <laughs> My next uh, finish I actually completed a, a couple months ago so you might have seen it on my Instagram but I still wanted to show it to you guys and see if you had any suggestions for me but um, this is a Mill Hill kit I completed a few of the smaller ones and I wanted to try out one of the bigger square sized ones. So I really like this uh, Laurel Birch uh, kit. In fact, there's six I think in this series and I purchased several of them um, to go together as a set. So I, was, I wanted to try out um, one of them before Mania because I'd like to start another one in May so I'm very happy with 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 what it is like I said it's pretty inexpensive but I love the sparkle and the beads you know the only thing is I'm not sure what else to do with it besides put it in the Mill Hill uh, frames and even that takes some uh, coaxing I did have to get a hold of some glazier points which I haven't even I haven't fixed it in here permanently I'm just holding it in here to show you guys what it looks like in the frame 
but um, you know like I said it's pretty inexpensive but for the whole entire thing um, I do like it this leads us to the first item of the day which I'd like to um, give away okay and that is one of the um, the Laurel Birch um, Sun and Moon kits uh, I'm gonna do another one in May and I was thinking that it would be fun if there's anyone who would like to join me you know to stitch with me um, one of these uh, one of these Sun and Moon kits this one's called Sister Sun and Brother Moon and it has everything of course it is a kit so it has everything in there and I would like to send it to one lucky viewer um, and to say thank you for watching if you would like um, I will ship this anywhere you know so you can live anywhere all I ask is that you are over 18 and ask that you please subscribe but if you're interested in the giveaway for this Mill Hill kit just uh, leave a comment and say Mill Hill somewhere in there so I'm looking forward to doing that of in the future and my last finish is a pretty big finish and like I said if if you've been keeping tabs on my Instagram you might be able you might have seen what it is but before I show it to you take a look at this So here it is. I'm so happy with it. I mean, it was such a great stitch from day one. I enjoyed it so much. And this, like I said, is Birds to the Bows by Lindy Stitches. And um, I did it on 32 count linen. And um, yeah, I. <laughs> I'm so happy that it's finally back from the framers. Um, I I wanted to pick something kind of simple, but you know I was really struck by the silver color. You know I thought that went with my um, grayish silver blue fabric um, the best. And I used all the call for colors, um, the DMC colors, except this is uh, you know. Um, this is actually the CXC brand of, of Chinese floss that that I own um, but um, see you know I think I think the the biggest thing about that that was hard about this piece was um, placing those birds on on that branch <laughs> that took uh, I think I had a few mistakes in there but I compensated well enough so yeah um this is stitched on uh 32 count silver mist linen by hand dyed fabrics by stephanie and it is 
designed by Lindy Stitches Stephanie and then it is stitched by me Stephanie so I fondly call this my triple Stephanie that I have um, I have that's I feel kind of like I said if you, you saw the trailer you know it was very dramatic anyway I feel like I won an award by um, you know completing this piece and I love it um, I haven't decided where I'm going to hang it yet, but I didn't get museum glass because the guy at the store just didn't ask me if I wanted it, so I didn't ask for it. And um, so I'm going to try to put it probably in a hallway or someplace that doesn't get a lot of sunlight, you know, because I don't want it to get sunburned since it's not under museum glass. But in celebration of my um, Triple Stephanie Award that I gave myself, um, I was hoping that you guys uh, would like to celebrate with me and um, that is why I will be giving away um, a $20 gift certificate to hand dyed fabrics by Stephanie. Okay, um, And this is open to anybody and I also w wanted to mention that this you can enter both giveaways you don't have to um, enter just one or the other okay so um, again you need to be over the age of 18 you should be a subscriber and um, it's open you know to anyone for that so all you need to do is uh, mention fabric in your comment okay so um, those are my finishes <laughs> that I've had since my last update so what's been going on with whips? Well, I realized that that I, there are times that I've shown um, pretty much all of my projects that I have, and I've done a whip parade a few months ago, you know. So, but I I realized that there was one project that I hadn't shown, but I did show it once in my floss tube ver uh, floss tube anniversary video from last year. So. Um, I am a Game of Thrones fan, and as you know, you may know that the um, the last season of Game of Thrones is about to start, and um, there are a lot of Game of Thrones patterns out there. But what really inspired me about um, was not so much the the actual Game of Thrones patterns, but the idea of making a house banner for you know our family. And um, I had gotten this pattern last year and worked on it a little bit, but I decided to start working on it again, um, especially during Game of Thrones, um, to just stitch on. So, um, so anyway, this is a Hobby Lobby uh, clearance chart that I found um, at Hobby Lobby, and I started it last year. And it is a family tree sampler that I've been personalizing for our family. I haven't started stitching names individually yet, but um, I really like it so far. I, I'll i show you where I was in my last video, you know, compared to where I am now. But I just finished up the, the vase, and um, this is on 28 count even weave. So that is one of the the projects I've been working on, and I'm going to continue to work on uh, through April. And well, we'll we'll talk about May some other time, right? <laughs> and this is another project that is on the horizon that I is one of my Stitch Nine projects, and that I wanted to get it off the Q snap so I could look at it and see all my my progress. Um, and so I wanted to show you guys his eyes on the sparrow. Let me see if I can get it the right way. But this, oh wow, it takes up the whole camera. Wow. Let's see if I can. <laughs> yeah, so I'm currently on page three over here. And I'm almost finished with it, but uh, I still got some ways to go. But like I said, that's 36 count, one over two, and uh, yeah, I wanted, I was hoping that it, that it would take up a lot of space, but that's taking up the whole 
camera, <laughs> so I'm happy with the progress. My particular goal for Stitch 9 was to finish the, the top half for this year, which I think is definitely attainable, but um, it's been kind of waiting in the wings for me. So, that's a good one. I love that piece. And, let's see. Oh, this is kind of another finish that I had. Um, I'm a member of the EGA, the Embroiderers Guild of America, and and that's the Dogwood chapter around here. And they, um, our, our chapter has a kind of a rule that if you come and you don't have a name tag, you have to pay a dollar uh, fee for the meeting and that goes towards door prizes basically um, so I I hadn't stitched my own name tag so I whipped one up one day <laughs> and I'll show you what I did um, let's see I think this might be close enough yeah so this is stitched on 16 count Ada and I had all the threads in my stash actually from that canvas piece and based on that that and that quilt that I have and I love so um, I reused the threads from that to make a little name tag for myself and this is this is actually the old pin the old EGA chapter pin they just changed the logo so I made this for myself and I turned it into a little pouch to put scissors in for my name tag and I, I still forgot it at our last meeting but like I said, the EGA re just recently changed its logo, and we we have a new chapter logo, and I've been stitching on that um, project, and I wanted to show you guys. This is not even the whole um, logo, our whole chapter logo, and it's just a part of it because I'm still trying to make it small enough for another name badge, but. Um, Maybe I could finish it as something else besides that. I don't know. Um, so this is what we have. This is, like I said, I'm a member of the Dogwood chapter, so you can tell these are Dogwoods. And this is on 40 count. I'm afraid to get too close so the camera won't be to get out of focus. So I hope that's close enough. But, again, this is, you know, everything's on my Instagram. So, um, yeah, those are some pretty dogwoods and I have to finish up the EGA here and somehow turn it into this um, a name tag but this is like I said the other one was made on Ada and I used uh, iron on interfacing to make it even to give it a little more stability the pouch and this I'm just not sure since it's linen and it's a real you know soft and floppy so I was thinking if I use matte board um, to turn it into more of a card type finish badge. So that took a few days and um, I think that's all I've been pretty much working on. I mean that was that's a lot of stuff since January. I don't do updates very often because um, I do like to end up showing you guys more finishes than than just you know um, works in progress. But I really wanted to spend time today to say thank you to all of you, my viewers, who have tuned in over the past two years because I have enjoyed um, sharing my love of stitching with you in whatever unique and sort of interesting ways that I can. And, you know, I really like having a record and um, being able to... to to visit with all of you on your channels too you know it's it's a great way for us to interact you know and it's almost like a virtual scrapbook to me you know um, so I want to say again thank you for being a part of my life for the last two years the giveaways will be open for two weeks so today is April 10th so that makes April 24th they'll close so um, you have until then to enter just by adding your comment and I'll pick it randomly um, after that. So um, 
thanks for watching and um, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>